6,275 pounds, Freedom Express 287 BHDS here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an extra tall Asdell Ultralight with a longer full 80 inch queen bed up front, which makes us a very uncommon thing. It's a larger but lighter trailer, and we'll discuss all how they accomplish that as we go. Now with travel mode engaged with the slide closed, you can see you've got obviously easy access to the bunks, to the bathroom. Um, you've also got generally very obvious easy access to a great deal of the storage if we look through here. Uh, like you can see the, you know, all the extra pantries and, uh, you know, m the majority of the kitchen cabinetry here, including this nice big... Uh, sort of like walk-in closet right when you walk in the door with the new uh, updated pantry shelving right there I think is a nice touch you can get to a lot of this stuff But you can't get to the bedroom Well, this one has a secret weapon for just that occasion instead of jumping over the countertop like Bo and Luke Duke We've got a second door here straight to the bedroom that allows us to get in here If you need to make a travel stop to take a nap if you uh, you know need to pack up your closets mom and dad instead of waiting to do that when you get there you can have all that stuff done, um, you know, before you leave or obviously at a travel stop. And you do have a deadbolt privacy door here. I know some folks aren't real keen on somebody walking in right at your bedroom. Lock the door. They're not going to be able to get in. No sweat. Just a quick look before we get too far along. I've introduced him a few times, guys, but this is Mr. Jody. And um, Jody is, uh, he's one of our part specialists, but he's also just a supreme sort of uh, check-in guy with just an eagle eye for things. You see him going over everything in fine detail. We perform a service, or pardon me, surface inspection on every single camper before we even take it off the delivery truck here at Halet RV. And then it actually goes through two additional um, you know, layers of quality inspection before uh, we, uh, you know, send it out to you. So we do everything that we reasonably can to make sure everything's in good working order before it hits the road. That's just one of those things that we're all about here at Halet RV. So when this video began, I mentioned that this was lighter but bigger. It's taller inside, and we'll talk about how they keep it lighter without sacrificing structural integrity as we go outside. But in short, this has a six foot nine inch wall instead of a more common six and a half foot wall. Now some campers with six and a half foot walls have a vaulted ceiling and that's great. It gives you the big camper feel, but it's actually the height of the side walls that will help determine things like the height of the slide out, the height of the shower, the kitchen cabinets, um, the bunk space. So a taller sidewall like this has a greater effect, um, but it would generally weigh a little more. Things like Asdell and aluminum structure primarily help overcome that potential challenge. Now, um, the one that we have in stock could be different from the one that we have on hand. Case in point, and we'll come back to this later. We would often outfit this with a trifold sleeper sofa right here, but I do still like the standard sort of, I don't know, pseudo cinema seat that they have going on. Um, well, it has, you know, great storage below. You do have that folding armrest to give you that sort of, um, you know, drink holder station. And what's also cool about this, guys, is if you look at their armrest, it has a set of 12 volt, uh, you know, just common trailer battery powered USB chargers and these cool little evening night lights right here. So when it is sort of like a, a family movie night, that's, that's just a neat little thing. Now there's all sorts of little accent lights in here, like there's accent lighting behind those uh, upper cabinets and um, down here below those lower benches, as well as above the TV. Plus the stovetop nightlight knobs. It makes this thing like uh, if you need to get from the bedroom to the bathroom or if the kids need to get to the bathroom at night, very easy to navigate. Now I love the like that extra tall window they put there, just all the extra light and visibility and especially being a taller camper, they could put in a taller window, it's awesome. Now all of the countertops are going to be a sealed edge press membrane style. And I do believe Freedom Express, well pardon me, Coachman at large, has been doing that longer than anyone else. So if the kids spill a drink here, if you're working in the kitchen, you dribble something around, it's really kind of a, uh, a no harm, no foul situation. Now one of the things that this one does well, I mean extremely well, is uh, extra kitchen storage. But once again, as long as we have the, the standard pseudo cinema seat, <laughs> all those S sounds here, let's, let, let's open everything up and really do the job right, shall we? Now, almost any jackknife uh, bifold sort of sofa is going to have storage below it. But one of the things I really like about Freedom Express, like you see it here in this 287, you see it done a lot in the 248 couples camper, 
they give you doors to the storage down there. Now, you could lift the bottom of that sofa up, and it might kind of sit at a 45-degree angle of it, and on its own if you wrestle with it enough, but you don't have to. And it's those extra detail, easy convenience things that really make me respect Freedom Express. I like this brand. They do so many small, like, human detail factors, and I don't know how better to describe them, but like common sense daily use things, like even the positions of where the um, outside uh, hookups are located, things on a Freedom Express make more sense. And uh, you'll hear me probably say this a few times because I, I, I know it's true, and uh, is that you can tell the difference between a Freedom Express and something else in, in, in terms of who built it. This was built by somebody that goes camping, not just somebody who can design a camper. There's a difference there, and I think anyone who's owned an RV knows exactly what I mean. Anyone who's had their first RV and then swapped to something else because it wasn't exactly what they thought it was going to be knows exactly what I mean. So uh, full easy storage below those dinette benches and that table's free floating by the way. Um, if you want to take it outside you can have a dual picnic thing going on because this includes its own outside picnic table already or you can take it over here for sort of like a, a movie night craft dinner sort of situation. Not right now the Canadian folks are going craft dinner, meaning like macaroni and cheese. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> the uh, taller uh, ceilings, again, are going to offer us some bigger overhead cabinets. And we will find hardwood cabinet door framing and pocket screwed cabinet styles all around. Now, these are tall enough if you wanted to add an extra shelf there to double that space. It certainly wouldn't hurt you. A little update at the time of this filming. They've, um, there's a couple little touches like the, the new Furion stove and vent hood combos here. I love that kitchen breeze window right there. And the total prep space that you get out of this one is actually pretty darn impressive with that sort of L-shaped... It would be a peninsula counter, but obviously it's against walls. Now, between the sink cover and the flush mount stove cover, um, you've got some excellent prep area going there, and you do have power outlets uh, under the overhead cabinets, as is pretty traditional with most laminated trailers. Little LED exit nightlight knobs, like I mentioned, and the sink before I move on is what's called stone cast. You can do the little ring test, and hear the difference between a better material and a common plastic sink. And frankly, guys, a plastic sink is okay, this is just better. It's rated for up to 500 degrees. Now, we've got my one of my favorite Freedom Express features, the utensil drawer right here. Wraps around the sink. You can, uh, you know, it gives you a, a perfect little uh, utensil organizer that is fully removable, by the way, that wraps around the sink. It's the best use of space around a sink in an RV, I think, that's ever been done. Um, but you'll hear me say in a lot of my videos, Every brand does something better than someone else, and really what Coachman does extremely well is storage. So what we're looking at here so far, in similar versions of this floor plan from different brands, this is usually the, the, the bulk of the kitchen storage. But Freedom Express, again, Coachman being very storage oriented, included this whole extra sort of like pantry, cabinet, closet combination here, including a pair of additional drawers right in the kitchen that could very easily double as sort of like, you know, socks or underwear drawers or junk drawers or whatever. So you've got five or six drawers right here in the kitchen area, very easily accessible. And if you look a little closer, you see that these shelves are removable because they added a hanging rack up there. If you really need to maximize your hanging storage, you can do that. Now, a lot of RVs with a similar layout to this will have a really deep, what I call pantry tainment center right here. And Freedom Express didn't make theirs too deep, so you didn't have to get on your hands and knees to dig around for storage. Again, you can tell the difference between somebody who camps and somebody who designs a camper. And the little clutter cutting shoe garage by the front door, it's one of the simplest things and it's one of my favorite things. Now, as long as we're looking at the entertainment, we might as well polish this off right here. Next to the Bluetooth DVD stereo, uh, we've got a handy little like phone device charging station with both household and USB plugs. And the TV can swing out to face the dining and kitchen area as well. So instead of making this deeper, which is difficult to reach, it's useful that it's there, but it's not as user-friendly as it could be. Freedom Express gave you a walk-in closet with second pantry. Well, maybe kind of third pantry, depending on how you want to count things. And I even love this own little, it's got its own little light switch. I mean, this is six foot nine tall. It's roughly, I don't know, two, two and a half feet wide. And this is some serious storage space right here, brother. They did an awesome 
job utilizing every ounce of space they could. And again, it's those little details that I think have helped the 287 Freedom Express punch through the marketplace when so many brands build the same floor plans. These guys are punching through as more popular, and I think that says a lot about what they're doing with this layout. Got some harsh morning lighting actually pouring into this one here. I don't know that you're really getting the, the full effect of the the I call it the beach house lighter brighter wood tones that they get here so allow me to give you a quick look at that and as long as we're doing that I also want to point out cabinet ducted heating versus floor ducted heating um, this means that there's no vents in the floor to collect dirt debris you know little skittles <laughs> from the kids as we come into the bedroom I want to point out this extra wide entry door you know it's adult sized you know mom dad grandpa and grandma grown adults are here not kids so we need a real bigger door and I like what they're doing with that now, um, key detail here is that this is a 60 by 80 residential size queen, not the short camp queen that you often find in travel trailers. Uh, you can also see that we've got, uh, you know, the normal hanging closets right here on both sides of the master bed. We've got, uh, you know, side stands with dual outlets, you know, your household and your USB plug so that everyone gets uh, what they need, where they need it. Um, and again, queen sheets, normal queen sheets fit this, and there is still storage below the base of the bed. Um, I don't, it, there's enough light coming in through that uh, bedroom door right there. I don't even have those extra overhead lights on in the bedroom. I don't think you need them right now. Although you do always maintain an extra vent above here in the bedroom for that extra light and airflow. And uh, across from the bedroom next to the entry door, of course, you'll have your TV hookups. Now, uh, swinging ourselves around here, I don't... Did I mention it? I can't remember if I mentioned it or not now that I'm looking at it. We talked about the heating. I don't think we talked about the cooling. Um, we will generally upgrade any of our Freedom Expresses here at Halet RV of Goldwater, Michigan with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner for that extra cooling power. I think I talked about that. I think I talked about how it cycles the air more often now that I say that out loud. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but... There's a lot to cover in all these things, and, and accomplishing nearly 4,000 videos at the time of this filming, sometimes they bleed together a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, so we've talked about the entertainment. We will come over and talk about the bunk area. Let's take a look at the seating in the slide out. Um, because, uh, you know, obviously the, the primary purpose over here is going to be, you know, family dining, family entertainment, but that's not all that it will offer you and your family. As if the bunks weren't enough space, if you do need to really bed everybody down, uh, you've got a fold-down dinette here, as well as a fold-down sleeper sofa of some variety. So, um, you know, this is going to be great for, I don't know, maybe big dogs, extra kids. Now, we will typically outfit our Freedom Express 287s at Halet RV with a, um, a tri-fold sleeper sofa. However, this model has proven so popular we blew out of all of our inventory so fast, we called them and said, whatever you can get as soon as you can get it, get it here, please. So this one, we're actually looking at a jackknife bifold sofa. But what is neat is, if you remember, it has that sort of cinema-style armrest in it for a more uh, kind of a, a neat little direct-facing entertainment experience. So I'm not really disappointed with either setup. Um, just know that, again, this video might not exactly match what we have in stock all the time. Now, uh, as uh, you might have noticed earlier, but taking a moment to point it out, we obviously do have cross breeze windows all over the place, including the slide sides. And some of those accent lights that we've seen, like the, the lights under the dinette bases, you may have noticed, um, those also ignite a, uh, a little accent panel in, the, in this overhead storage cabinet, as well as just in this uh, overhead accent cabinet right here. Uh, the bunk area, does a couple things for us. So, um, you know, of course, we've got a, uh, if we take a look, a double over double bunkhouse. But what's kind of neat about this arrangement here, um, as we work our way down the Kid Climber rock wall, is you see that we've got a sort of fold up cargo bunk space. But you notice how we've got this neat little open alcove right here. What you can do is maybe back a bike, maybe two in there, and leave the handlebars out in no man's land. And it's just one less thing that, you know, you have to maybe store outside. Or, of course, you can just use it for general cargo. Or, on some kind of rainy day, the kids can actually kind of use that like an extended play space. I know that when I was a little, I would be more than happy to hang out my own personal little alcove playing around with my Legos. My mother would love it because all my little Lego stuff would be stuck in that corner instead of drizzling out into the floor. Now, back to this. This is kind of one of these things, these little Freedom Express cute features that... 
Uh, they've been very popular. The little kid climber rock wall, which I've demonstrated here is obviously being a, a good hat rack as well, apparently. <laughs> I took my hat off when I came in. Um, I also like the fact that it's not a full wall. That it's actually just the partial wall here. Um, because that extra little open air area right there, it really helps this thing look and, and, and feel bigger. But you notice, if we take a look, the curtain track does go all the way behind it. So it's not like you're always going to have an open pocket right there by the door, which would be weird. Um, but also take note of the fact that you have separate upper and lower curtains. So that you can have two different sets of uh, privacy, you know, one kid up, one kid down, etc. You can do different things with this. Now you do have power outlets down there under the lower bunk with the cargo bunk. But up top, which is probably going to be the big kid bunk. They also throw a set of USBs there because um, on a rainy day, the kid, big kids were guessing are probably going to be doing a little phone stuff. Now, you, you do have, um, you know, breeze through windows for both bunks as well, lights for both bunks as well. And then, of course, the bathroom, which is one of my favorite parts of any Freedom Express due to the extra ceiling height that we talked about earlier. It makes it more comfortable for a bigger person like me. This is essentially the same bathroom as the very popular 257 BHS, which is um, a significantly smaller version of this with uh, just a, uh, a dinette slide, not a sofa slide, but um, also, like I said, very popular, but still plenty of leg room, porcelain foot flush stool, more of those sealed edge countertops that we referred to er uh, earlier. We do have that handy little towel rack, which is great so that you don't have to leave like a, a, a moist towel laying around on the back of the couch. That's just gross and nobody likes that, but not every RV company gives you a, a good place to handle things like that. The other thing that's kind of handy here uh, is this. I love the extra ceiling height that you get in the shower that Freedom Expresses. As a guy who's about six, two or three, depending on the shoots and the hats and the boots, the shoots, the shoes and the hats and the boots, there we go. It's early. Um, <laughs> Put a little hashtag fail on that one. Anyway, my point is, I enjoy the extra comfort, the extra ceiling height that I get out of this. Now, some of the RVs that have the vaulted roofing, they start with a six and a half wall. What they'll typically do is they'll often put the shower head over here, knowing that you're going to stand in front of it where the ceiling vaults up. And then they'll put the skylight above your head. So some vaulted ceiling campers can be tall shower comfortable, but this one is always tall shower comfortable for a big goofy guy like me anyway now about a year ago from the time of this filming freedom express made a pretty bold move and lighten and brighten up both their interior and exterior and i don't think it's ever looked any better it's got that more uh easy breezy beautiful cover girl sort of uh light look and feel it's just fun you know and that's the whole point of camping it's supposed to be fun now, uh, your Freedom Express ultralights will have the uh, magnet holdbacks on your baggage doors. And you can see that these baggage doors are extra wide for easy access through this pass-through storage. Now, once again, I got some wicked morning lighting in here. So hopefully we get a, a decent look inside. I think you get the idea. These include their own picnic table, which is kind of cool. That's something that um, when Coachman started celebrating their 50th anniversary, uh, their, their anniversary package included that and it went over so well that it just became a standard part of the Freedom Express. Sometimes they're black, sometimes they're white, just depends on what comes in on a given day. Um, you've got a uh, simple side mount solar plug here. So if you are uh, a fan of boondock camping, you can use some portable panels and uh, hopefully park the camper in the shade to keep it a little bit cooler. And then uh, you can sort of put the panel out in the sun and you can follow the sun through the day as it, you know, moves around of course. Now, something a little different, as we go around, you won't see a spare tire on the rear bumper of a Freedom Express, or its little sister, the Coachman Apex, that we also have here at Halitz, like case in point right there. Instead, you will find them mounted under the uh, A-frame tongue area behind the propane tanks and the power tongue jack, which, by the way, the power tongue jack is also an optional piece of equipment, but you're going to be hard-pressed to find one on, at our location, at least, without that. So the tongue mounted spare helps with load balancing because weight in front of the axle tows a little bit better than weight behind the axle. And uh, there are a lot of people who are still interested in putting a, uh, like a, a bike rack on the rear bumper and this leaves it wide open and helps alleviate some of the load burden that could be placed on it. 
And you see that little red switch to the right hand side over there in this little vicinity. I don't actually, with the sun the way it is, maybe you're not seeing it. Little battery disconnect switch now included on Freedom Expresses. The three quarter cap is going to be a standard. A Liberty Edition will upgrade to a full cap. They both have LED accent lights, which is pretty darn nice. Now, something that's easy to miss, and it's one of those fine little detail things I like to zero in on, um, is the seal gripping leak preventing slide walls and leak prevention is always a good thing so the slide walls are really roughly textured to really pull on this seal and then they use a special T wiper seal that I don't really see used pretty much anywhere else in the business so that it really grabs that slide seal now not only do all the windows open but they're all tinted so it'll help knock a lot of that solar heat down from the Sun pouring in and remember how I said just little detail things like having all the hookups in one intelligent location it's one of those little reasons I like Freedom Express RVs I wasn't lying. They do that across the board. They are extremely good at providing a centralized hookup location. And they typically try to put it as far back into this corner as possible because that's where most park hookups are going to be located. Um, these have a standard enclosed and forced air heated belly. So uh, that'll give you that extra protection. If it is going to kind of just dip below freezing for the night, you'll be okay. If it's going to hard, hard freeze, guys, you, you definitely want to get virtually any camper winterized, you know. Um, we are ready for backup and observation cameras. We have those on the shelf every day at Halid RV. So we've talked about the optional power tongue jack, the bigger air conditioner, and now the ladder. Those are the three things we will often add to our Freedom Expresses here at Halid RV. And again, sometimes depending on the floor plan, the height of bed sofa we chatted about inside. Although I, I, I kind of like the, with that fold down armrest in the storage below, I really kind of like the standard sofa that's in here. I don't know that the, I know the height of bed is neat for the extra sleeping, but with all the sleeping you have in this one, I don't know that you need it. But I'd be really open to feedback on something like that, guys. Maybe we just accidentally bumped into something that works very well here. Anyway, so the ladder's optional, but this does have a full walk on roof that we're going to look at in just a minute here. Um, uh, but first, let's take a look at the awning. I like where they place this awning. Uh, because they did make sure it cleared both entry doors and that's as a person who goes camping That's a handy thing just being able to pop in and out to your campsite, especially from either side of it um, It's just a nice little user convenience thing and like I said There's the the recurring trend here is there's a bunch of things that really point to the fact that whoever designs the Freedom Expresses Obviously goes camping, you know, I, I as a person who goes camping I can see the difference between an RV that was just put together by an engineer on paper and by someone who goes, oh, wait a minute, what if we did this because this is how you go camping. Now, <clears throat> the wide stance axles down here, what they help do is they help eliminate um, sway and they help eliminate bounce. They're not a replacement for a proper load leveling and anti-sway system. They're a supplement to. And where they really come in handy is on a little bit longer trailers like this, again, shorter wheelbase vehicles because it seems like everyone wants a shorter vehicle for the tighter turning radius. But what a lot of people don't realize is the tighter your turning radius, the less comfortable your towing experience is going to be uh, because it's easier to sway the truck around. Simple outside TV hookups. You can see that we do have full length LED lighting along the entire base of the awning here. And against that white awning base at night, it'll glow quite a bit. And then we also have a similar full length uh, light through the pass-through storage that we looked at earlier. And what's nice about that is you can see it from either side. So you don't, uh, a lot of campers will only have a light on this side of the RV, not on both. And that sure doesn't make sense. Cool little target of opportunity here. I thought, wait a minute, we can look at the top of the awning, which is something I don't typically do. Um, but short of that, just visually, aesthetically, it looks neat. Beyond that, there's nothing special about its color fade or anything. But the, the roof here, being a hard, stark white, that is actually as bland and boring as it might look. It's extremely useful and beneficial because it will help cut down on a lot of heat added to this RV in the summertime. Um, Freedom Expresses used to have brown skin noses and roofs and they found out that they were just cooking people to death in their campers. Not literally, of course, thank God. But the point is here, they went to a more traditional white skin roof and they dropped the heat inside their RV significantly. Case in point, when they went from brown to white nose, they took one of those laser heat guns on the interior headboard right above your head of that front wall and found out it was 20 degrees cooler. That's a ton. I mean, that's a ton of just excess heat, not boiling your head every night. One other quick thing to mention up here is the new 360 antenna. You don't have to crank it up and down. You don't have to turn it. You just get to your destination, scan once, and enjoy. 
because camping's supposed to be easy. And doing everything for you, like hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between, that's easy. And that's what we do for you here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So whether you're looking for economy or a little excitement, We've got, the, uh, we've got the scratch for your itch, I suppose. But we don't do hidden dealer fees because nobody likes that. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.